Yeah, so basically there's a lot that I hope to get to in the month of July. Hello my bookish lovelies, Kira here, and today I'm going to be talking about all the books that I hope to get to in the month of July. I am such a mood reader, so it will remain to be seen whether or not I actually stick to this because I end up finding like I don't know about you guys, but like as the month progresses, like I end up finding new books that I get really, really excited over. And then because of my attention span can sometimes be quite short, I end up adjusting my attention span to the book that I just realized existed in this world that I didn't know I needed. And then I end up getting really distracted. So total disclaimer on this video, guys, but I'm, this is these are the books like that I'm really hoping to get to because um, they are ones that I've been staring at on my TBR shelf for quite a while. So the first books that I hope to get to, I'm hoping like that I can try to get to um, the Bear and the Nightingale, which is the first book in the series by Catherine Arden, The Girl in the Tower by Catherine Arden, which is the second book, and then also The Winter of the Witch. Um, these books like are adult fantasy, adult Russian fantasy, and I've heard nothing but amazing things about them. I don't, I guess it probably is pretty ambitious of me to figure the hope like that I'll be able to get to all three of these in the month of July, but I really, really want to read these because everybody that I've heard of that has read these has really loved them. And they've been, they're one of the series like that I wanted to get to in 2020. Like last few years, like I've had a hard time getting to full series. So I've made a lot of series like on my t-bar shelf a high priority for this year and I just finished up The Blade Itself by Joe Abercrombie so that kind of freed up some reading time because those are really thick books so I'm really hoping to get to these right here because I've heard so many wonderful things. I want to know what the hype's about. Another book that I really really hope to get to in the month of July is 1Q84 by Harukiro Murakami. This is also a very thick book. The writing isn't the biggest. Um, I think yeah, this book's about a thousand pages long, so this is another really ambitious thing. I hope to at least get this started in the month of July. I'm not going to put pressure on myself to finish it, but I hope to at least get it started. Um, this is a, it says a love story, a mystery, a fantasy, a novel of self-discovery, a dystopian to rival George Orwell's 1Q84 is a tremendous feat of imagination from one of our most revered contemporary writers. And I've heard so many wonderful things about Hakiro Murakami, and I really hope that I end up loving this because I, this is actually like one of those books like that has been on my TBR forever, and my parents got it for me for Christmas like a few years ago, and I'm finally hoping to be able to get to this because your girl loves big books, and this is a chunker. Another book that I really hope to get to because I loved the other book that I read by him is My Best Friend's Ex Exorcism by Grady Hendrix. Um, he's also the author of the Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires, and I just listened to that one on audio and absolutely loved it. And um, yeah, I'm really hoping to get to this one too. This is this seems like it's really awesome. And I've actually, the closer we get to October, the more I'm feeling kind of like some spookier atmosphere type stuff. So I hope like, I just want to be immersed like a little bit more like in the spookiness because I really like spooky. It kind of puts me like at the edge of my seat and it gives me like a little bit of adrenaline rush. I really need to start reading more thrillers because, because thrillers are one of my least consumed genres even though I have quite a few thrillers on my TBR shelf. I just never seem to put them in a higher priority. So I really need to get to thrillers I think like in the next couple of months too and start reading more of those. Anyway, back to the TBR. Um, the next thing I really want to get to is Girl Unframed by Deb Colette. I heard that this is kind of a um, very intense read. This was this is the author of um, my, A Heart and the Body in the World and I read that I believe last year and I really really loved it and this is her newest book that came out um, and I believe like this actually like deals with a lot of women being treated like objects and stigmatized and everything else I think this is gonna be like a harder read but it's also gonna be very quick the writing's not that small so I think I'm just gonna be able to blow right through this but when I saw like that Deb Colette had come out with a new book I immediately had to get it because like it was just I'm just so excited I just loved a heart in the body in the middle of the world so so I'm trying to incorporate more nonfiction into my monthly reading because I feel like it's important for me to do that because I want to educate myself better and I feel like I feel like I've, I'm better educated the more nonfiction that I read, which obviously, but I really like wanted to read Hood Feminism by Mickey Kendall. This is basically about black women 
and how like they are stigmatized in feminism. So this is a combination of black literature and feminism. I know a little bit about this, like not a, not a lot though, but I'm really excited about this. Another nonfiction book that I really, really hope to get to is This Book is Gay by Juno Dawson. This is actually a nonfiction book about LGBTQ+, and um, I've seen it around. I was really much drawn to this. Like, not only is the cover just absolutely beautiful, it's the LGBTQ plus flag. Um, so I'm just really excited to get to this as well. This is going to be like another like one that's going to be pretty quick to read. Um, I just think it's just going to be wonderful. Another book that I really hope to get to in the month of July is Starfish by K Akemi Don Bowman. I know that this is a hard hitting contemporary, and I know a lot of people like. I hang out on Goodreads and I will be scrolling through to see if people have talked about this book and every time I see a quote from this book I it kind of like steals my breath like a little bit because it's just so beautiful so that actually stirred up me wanting to read this very very badly because I am a sucker for beautiful quotes and this one seemed like from what Every time I see a review, somebody includes a beautiful quote from this book, and so it's a, and it's a different beautiful quote from this book. So I'm really excited to get to this too. I know it's a hard-hitting contemporary past that. I'm not really sure too much about it. The last book that I hope to get to in the month of July is The Black Flamingo by Dean Atta. This is actually a book that's told in verse, and it's about a black... I believe it's a black drag queen. The tagline for this is... This is not about being ready. It's not even about being fierce or fearless. It's about being free. And everybody that I've heard that has read this has loved it. So I am really excited to read this too. I actually, I know this is not a book haul, but I appreciate beautiful books. Like this has little pink flamingos all over it. I haven't seen anybody talk about like what was underneath the dust jacket. So I had to, and like these beautiful yellow end pages so excited for this but anyway thank you guys so much for joining me um i'm on instagram amazon goodreads and twitter my links are linked in the description below i hope you guys will come and talk to me um i have a very ambitious tbr for the month of july and i really hope to be able to get to everything that i have listed but we'll see right because mood reading and stuff means like that you are like a mood stone and sometimes you change your mind I just, this is, that's the ideal. That's what I hope to get to. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys again very soon.